Hi, good morning everybody. This is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. I'm here at a Barley and Pfeiffer project my company's building. We're on a very exciting day. It's a little, a little loud around here. We're just on the uh, first or second day of hanging sheetrock. I'm in the master bedroom of this home and I wanted to show you some special soundproofing we're doing between the master bedroom and a girl's bedroom next door. So let me show you the situation. Uh, this is the master bedroom on the house. We're walking into the master bath here, and um, this wall here separates the master bath from one of their uh, girls' bedrooms on the other side. So there's going to be a vanity here, this is the master shower, and then through this pocket door uh, over here is the closet. So these walls, we hung the sheetrock first, and then we're going to do some special soundproofing on the other side. Um, my cellulose uh, blowers, we're doing some damp blown cellulose are just about ready on the other side to uh, get started. So let's kill the video and when those guys start up, we'll, uh, we'll show you what we're doing for sound. Okay, we're on the other side of the master bath now. This is uh, our client's uh, young girl's bedroom. And um, what we wanted to do ahead of time before we sprayed the damp and cellulose was install the uh, drywall, which is gonna be our backer. And then the other thing we wanna do is spe pay special attention to our penetrations. Actually, I forgot to, to uh, grab the box for real, real quick here. We're using uh, Hilti putty pads. This is a CP617, 6 inch by 7 inch. It's made for fire stopping and commercial applications, um, but it works really, really well for soundproofing these electrical outlets. If you think about an electrical outlet, it typically has a lot of holes in the back for your wires to, pen to poke through. Plus, you've got that penetration where the sheetrock hits it. This putty pad acts like um, uh, basically like silly putty in some respects. Forms all the way around that box, gets rid of all that airflow through that box, acts as a fire stopping in commercial applications, but here we're just trying to make sure that no air is transferring through uh, from one side of the wall to the other. And then um, after we uh, spray that damp blown cellulose, we'll show you what we're gonna do next. So let's bring the damp blown guys in. I'll be right back, let me grab them. Hey, we're not quite ready to spray that other room, but we're spraying a room adjacent, and I wanted to show you what it looks like. So same process, this is damp blown cellulose. Cellulose, of course, is basically uh, you know cut up newspaper, like you set it through the shredder. It's got a, a boric acid treatment on it as well. And then they're sending it through the hose and it mixes with the water glue mix. And it's called damp balloon because it is it does go on damp. We use this also on our exterior walls after we spray the exterior walls with some closed cell foam. But in this scenario, we're using it for waterproofing. You can see that I don't even have a, uh, a dust mask on. It is a little dusty. We should be wearing a dust mask, but the fumes from this are not harmful. It's, pa it's paper, basically, in comparison to uh, fiberglass, uh, which, is, which is a lot more noxious. Pretty neat system. So when he gets done with this and sprays these walls, he's going to knock it down flat, uh, which is not hard to do. And then, um, and then we'll be ready to insulate, or we'll be ready to sheetrock the other side of this wall, rather. We're doing something a little special with the uh, with the with the uh, sheetrock on the other wall in the master there. So we'll we'll uh, let these guys finish up, and uh, this this damp balloon does need to dry before we can uh, before we can sheetrock over top of it. So we won't be sheetrocking these walls for another day or two until this dries out. But we'll pick up the video in a day or two when we're ready to sheetrock that master bedroom wall, and I'll show you what we're doing over there. One last thing before we transfer though, I wanted to show you what this looks like. The stamp blown cello, so you can almost see the, uh, in fact, there's some newsprint right there, look at that. I can pick up the word something that eye. So that's literally some newsprint that's been in here. It's a great recycled product um, and uh, works real well for both insulation and soundproofing. All right, everybody, thanks for your time. We'll pick up the video again next week when we're ready to hang that sheet Okay, up. we're back. Uh, the last video, we insulated this wall with uh, cellulose, damp blown cellulose. And now, uh, I think you've met my, uh, my favorite drywall contractor, Mike Isel, before. Mike and his crew have hung the first layer of sheetrock on this wall, and we're getting ready to hang the second layer of sheetrock. And the soundproofing that we're using today is, is a very interesting product called Green Glue. It's a noise proofing compound. And the first step in this process to use this product is actually to use their green blue noise proofing sealant. So now that we have um, insulated, or pardon me, now that we've hung this wall with our first layer of 5 8 inch sheetrock, Mike has um, already started, Mike is finishing up right here using this acoustical sealant. All the places where that drywall 
is touching something else. So where the drywall hits the floor, he's caulked all that. And then he's also going to caulk all these seams on here where drywall comes to drywall. You can see we've done it on this one here. And then it's a little tough to see, but where the drywall hits the ceiling, all those areas have been caulked as well with that noise proof sealant. And what that's doing is we're trying to, any air path that might be um, between the drywall and to that, to that area we're trying to noise proof, that noise proofing sealant is trying to uh, stop that airflow. And that's a sealant that, that remains basically permanently flexible. It's not like silicon caulk that hardens up. This will remain permanently flexible. So then the next step after that is to use our noise proofing compound because we're actually going to double hang this wall, meaning we're going to hang a second layer of sheetrock over top of this layer. We're also going to be very careful to uh, stagger our joints. So Mike's actually already laid this one with the green glue behind it. And we've laid this in a half sheet pattern so that when we lay our next four foot panel, the four foot panel is going to come to the middle of this sheet and it's going to come over so we're staggering these seams so none of the seams will line up and come through. So Mike, you ready to uh, put some green glue on this uh, drywall over here? I am. Okay, let's do it. So here's this tube, and uh, you got your gun? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. You got, you got a pre prep. Oh, hold on. Mike's finishing up the, uh, the uh, acoustical sealant on that joint there that we're about to overlay. So again, that's where those two sheets of drywall are coming together. Mike's running a nice bead of that acoustical sealant on those, on those joints. And then when we're all done with this process, Mike and his crew are going to take it over uh, as if it was standard drywall from there, from there on in. We're going to uh, tape and float it, and we're doing this house to a, uh, to a level 5 finish. Uh, so it's going to be a nice smooth drywall on this house. Alright, Mike's got a great bead. Alright, so then Mike, how do we... Uh, You've already laid one sheet of the green glue compound. The idea on this is that we're going to end up uh, doing this green glue in kind of a, uh, a zigzag pattern. So this is the same one that he's got in his, in his gun right there. What's it take, about a little more than a tube per sheet, Mike? About two tubes. About two tubes per sheet, something like that. And how many sheets are we using on, on this application? Six pieces. Okay, so we've got six pieces of drywall. We needed to order roughly a dozen tubes of this green glue. Hey, this thing doesn't pan out, does it? No. Um, and then um, the other thing I was going to ask you, Mike, you know, we've used a lot of quiet rock together in applications. Um, you don't need to tell me the exact dollar amount, but would you say, would you agree with me that this green glue is roughly about half the installed price of, uh, of using quiet rock? It is, yes, about 50% less. It's about 50% less. The other benefit of using this is, uh, you know, you're just ordering this green glue from these guys direct, and we're using regular 5 8 um, straight from the uh, from the supply house. Nothing special, so we didn't have to we didn't have to find a special supplier for uh, for that special sheet rock. Why don't you go ahead and cut the video here, and we'll we'll finish it. This part. All right, Mike's got the sheet all set up. The idea is that you're putting a big zigzag of that green glue, and that's a viscous material that the idea is when we sandwich this together that that's going to help uh, take that noise vibration and provide a much higher uh, STC transmission, sound transmission coefficient on this wall than if we had just used two layers of 5 eighths alone. So alright Mike, what's next? Hang it. Can a novice drywall guy hang, can you help you hang this? Sure. Alright, ready? Yep, yeah, one, two, three. Get in the bottom. Yep. There you go. There you go. Nothing to it. I mean, at this point, we're basically just hanging the sheetrock as if we were hanging a normal sheet of sheetrock. And that green glue is going to form a barrier. Just a real thin layer over this whole wall. This is actually kind of cool. Hang on one second. Mike. One little one little test uh, that I think is kind of neat that Mike actually showed me. If you knock on this wall, you can just hear the difference by having that that viscous layer in there. It's probably real tough to pick up on the camera, but I think this is going to make a really um, good soundproof job. Oh, and one other thing I forgot to mention too, 
Uh, we've also used that noise proofing sealant around our outlets. In fact, look at this one right here on the camera. We've done a nice, nice big bead of that noise proofing sealant on those outlets. And then if you saw in the video before, um, we did some noise proof uh, putty, Hilti putty pads on the back side of that wall. I think it's going to be a great install. Thank you, Mike. We're going to finish this up. And like I said, we're going to hang and tape this and float this to a level 5 finish like any other wall. When we're all done, nobody will know that there's any special soundproofing there. The only difference being this wall is going to be slightly thicker. We've lost 5 eighths of an inch out of this room, but other than that, I think it's going to make a really big difference between this girl's bedroom and the master bedroom on the other side. So, thank you very much, Mike. Appreciate another job well done, my thank friend. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Thanks, everybody.